Severe tropical storm Maring brought heavy rain and massive flooding to parts of northern Luzon last night. One of the areas badly hit by the tropical cyclone is Cagayan. And to give us the latest situation on the ground, we now have with us on the line Cagayan PDRRMO head, Mr. Darwin Sacramed. Good afternoon, Darwin. Uh, first off, could you tell us about the weather there right now? Uh, ha have things improved? Uh, hi, Sir Charles. Good afternoon. Yes, uh, the weather in the province of Cagayan has significantly improved. And uh, the uh, tropical storm marine is already out of the responsibility of uh, the province of Cagayan. And uh, the flooding has subsided. Uh, we are already shifting from uh, the response efforts to uh, relief and rehabilitation efforts. And uh, right now, our people are also conducting the rapid uh, needs uh, assessment. And based on our assessment, we were able to, uh, we have an initial assessment, uh, damage assessment of 4 million pesos for our crops and uh, 353,000 pesos for our livestock. Uh, of the uh, evacuation centers, out of the 791 uh, families that uh, were inside the evacuation centers, we only have uh, 43 families right now from the uh, municipality of Kromalanyugan and uh, Santa Teresa de All right, Sir Darwin, has the flood receded in most parts of Cagayan and uh, is anybody still in immediate danger? As of now, uh, we are thankful that uh, the uh, flooding has exceeded already. All right. Could you tell us whether uh, the residents were uh, given prior notification about the possible effects of STS Maring uh, at the time that it happened? Yes, uh, Sir Charles. Uh, we have uh, three, two to three meetings on the uh, uh, pre-disaster risk assessment and part of the uh, uh, risk assessment meeting where the uh, inclusion of our uh, municipal disaster risk management officers so that they can uh, inform our um, constituents in the ground and also part of our information and education campaign is uh, the dissemination in our pages in the Cadet Information Office. And uh, what we expect, we, we did not expect, is the uh, um, flooding in the town of uh, Bougay where they said it's the first time that uh, four countries in this area, which has not been uh, flooded for the past years, uh, it was the first time because of uh, flash flood uh, in the Pong Bayan, the Apat Pona Barangay, the Pong Bayan of the day, I not catch the rest of flash flood. All right, Sir Darwin, are rescue operations still ongoing and do we have any reported casualties or uh, injuries following the severe tropical storm? We are already shifted to relief and uh, rehabilitation efforts uh, so Charles. Unfortunately, we have uh, one casualty in the name of uh, Pedro Tanquilan. He is a security guard in the Ports Authority in the town of Laveria. Uh, he was expecting his, uh, his area when he was hit by a strong wave and uh, uh, he got drowned. Uh, he was uh, rushed in the hospital, unfortunately, uh, dead on arrival. All right, thank you for those updates and do stay safe. That was Colonel Darwin Sacramed, head of the Cagayan Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office.